Today, we are going to be looking at adding and subtracting our one-step equations. Solving an equation is like balancing a scale. And you guys have used these balance scales in science class before, so you're familiar with them. When you're working with them, the goal is to have both sides remaining equal or balanced. And that's what makes it a balanced scale. So if we're thinking about how this works with our visuals and one-step equations, the one on the left, we have two circles and three triangles. If I want my balance scale to remain balanced or equal, on the right side of this, I have to have also two circles and three triangles. Now they can be in any order, but I have to have the exact same thing on both sides for it to remain equal. In my middle one, I have three plus a question mark has to be balanced or equal to the number seven. So what number do I need to fill in for this question mark? I'm gonna get rid of the question mark and it's gonna be a four. Three plus four is seven. And so then seven equals seven. The third one on here is more of what our models will look like. And we can see down below the picture that we have these long skinny ones and those are gonna be our X, our variable our missing pieces, that's what we're solving for. And then the little squares are one unit each. That's just our regular numbers. So when I'm looking at this balance scale, how many X's do we have? Well, we have one X. And then how many of these little units do I have? I have five. So this is really, I'm gonna write it down here. X plus five is going to be equal to the middle of the balance scale is our equal. And then what is on my right side? I have nine of those little squares. So my equation that we're gonna be working with to match this picture is X plus five equals nine. And we're gonna be able to solve that. And I know if I want my scale to remain balanced, I need to put four more little squares to replace this X, this unknown long rectangle. And then my scale will be balanced. That's what we're looking at. So we have four problems. My first thing that I need to look at is writing an equation first. And I have one big X and then I have three squares. And then on the right side, I, I have eight. So my equation is X plus three equals eight. From here, this is the work that I need. Some people like to draw a line down the equal sign. If you do, I kind of refer that to that as the railroad track. We have to do the same thing on both sides so that our scale is equal. Now, I need to figure out what X is. How many of these little units do I need to replace that X with, with a number? And that's going to be our answer. So the way we do this is I have X plus three equals eight. I am going to essentially take away off those scale, off the scale, those three little units. But if I do that on one side, I have to do it to the other side. So I'm gonna get rid of three on the other side. And now I have one X is equal to, well, what's left over? Five of those. So I know that one little rectangle is five units. How do I write that mathematically? Well, when I took away and I scratched off those three, that was just like saying subtraction. So I'm going to subtract three and I line it up right underneath that plus sign. I'm going to do a minus because I'm going to do the opposite operation. And if I do it to one side, I have to do it to both. I draw my line. My three and my minus three really becomes zero. Um, which we normally don't write, okay? We don't normally write that zero. My X, however, is still here. Equals is still there. And then what is eight minus three? Five. So each little rectangle is worth five. Let's do one without a model. X minus five equals 12. I'm gonna draw my line. And that just tells me I have to do the same thing on both sides. I'm looking on here and I see X minus five equals 12, something, a number minus five equals 12. So I'm gonna see, well, there, I'm gonna do the opposite of subtract. I'm gonna add five. 
then I have to add five to both sides. Because I know that a minus five and a plus five is zero. And we normally don't write that zero, okay? So that is what we say it cancels. You might hear some teachers say that. My X, however, is still here. So I still need to write it. My equal sign is there. And then what is 12 plus five? 17. So my solution, if this were in a model, is that my one long skinny rectangle would be worth 17 of those little units. But this is the work that I really need to see. Next, we have another picture. So let's count first off, what do we have? A three by four, so there's 12 over there. How many X's are there? There's just one X, but there's four little units. So my equation is 12 equals the middle of the balance scale is equal to X plus four. For me to keep this balanced, I don't care what X plus four is. I want what X is. I need to figure out what just this one piece is worth. How many of those little rectangles would it take to make it balance? So I'm gonna take away those four. And I'm gonna do that mathematically by saying subtract four. My X is on the right. So on the right side, I'm just focusing on, I see add four, I'm gonna do the opposite of add four. I'm gonna subtract four but I have to subtract four on both sides. Okay, my fours are gone, they're canceled. My X, however, I have to bring it down, equals 12 minus four is eight. So eight equals X or X equals eight. Same thing, doesn't matter which way you write it. And the next one, negative four equals X minus 14. Put your line, where's your X variable? It's on the right side. So I'm focusing on this X minus 14 and I wanna leave the X alone. I'm gonna do the opposite of whatever I see. I see minus 14, so I'm going to add 14. It's the exact opposite of what I see. Okay, I have to do it to both sides. The 14s are canceled, they're gone. My X, however, is still there. My equal sign is still there. And now I have to be careful with my integer operations. Negative four plus 14 is a positive 10. So 10 equals X, or I can say X equals 10. And that's our answer. All right, if you have some to practice on your own. Ask your teacher if you have any questions.